Hi everybody, this is Mike. So I want to show you how you can add a top bar using generate blocks and a generate press premium block element. You could use the top bar widgets, but using blocks gives you a little more control over the design and the responsive alignment. So I'm going to jump into the element section and click new element and I'm going to choose block. And I can call this top bar. And I'm going to set this to entire site, but you can pick wherever you wanted to place it. So say you were selling a product and you wanted a, maybe a sale banner just on the home page. You could set it to just the home page. And I'm going to choose the hook element type. And I'm going to do before header. So this is going to place the top bar above my header navigation logo. And I'll just save it. All right, so first thing I'll do is drop in a container and give it a background color. Now I'm going to use buttons up in here. So I'm going to make the top and bottom zero so that the buttons go the, the full height of the bar. Okay, so in here I'll drop a button block. So this first one may be a phone number. And then you can add your click to call um, link in here. And I'm going to tighten up the spacing. So maybe 15 and 5. And I think I'll add a little phone icon. Uh, maybe make it a little smaller. Like that. And now I'm going to want these on desktop to align over to the right. So I'm going to choose the button block. And then I'm going to change the alignment to right. And as far as this one, I think I will just make the, the text white and then on hover, maybe reverse it. So maybe on hover, make the background white and the text black like that. All right. So say next to this, I wanted to add a, some kind of contact button, maybe like email us. I'll just click add and I can change this email us. I could put the link in here. I'll change this icon to a little envelope. And this one I think I'll make as an actual kind of button, maybe like a charcoal like that, just to differentiate it. We'll see what that looks like. All right, so now on desktop, I have this little top bar and let's see what it looks like. Okay, so I've got the button here. I've got the click to call phone right there. Now, if you were to want to keep the buttons here, um, as far as alignment on desktop, say for example, when it hits tablet, you want them maybe to center. I'll just go ahead and grab that button block and I'll click on the tablet settings. Now I have the responsive previews turned off in the generate block settings so that this doesn't change. Um, sometimes I prefer to just use that instead of having it constantly change layouts. So on tablet, I'm going to choose center and then mobile will pick up that as well. And let me remove that space. All right. So let's see what it looks like. We've got this and I'll jump into this little preview, this little app called Hoverify I use to get some responsive previews. All right, so this would be like an iPad. So I have the two buttons here, and then they're also gonna center as far as um, phones. On smaller devices, they're gonna stack, which is good. Now you could go ahead and just um, align these any way you want. If you're using Generate Blocks Pro, you could also actually turn them off. So if you only wanted this top bar on desktop, you can turn it off on tablet and mobile using Generate Blocks Pro, which is a great feature. So like I said, you could do a little sale banner right here in the center. Uh, maybe only put it on the home page, and then choose what devices you actually want it to show up on. But yeah, it's a, it's a little better way than using the top bar widgets because you can style the text better, you can add icons, you can change the alignment on devices without using any custom CSS. So it's a good option. I'm going to put this little top bar as a download below the video. So I'll save it as a reusable block. 
And if you're unfamiliar with that, I'm just going to select the whole container and I'm going to add it to a reusable block. And then over here, I'll name it and I'll call it top bar and update. And now when I go into the reusable block section, you'll see this top bar here and I'll export it out to my desktop. So if you want to download it and import it, all you have to do is click import and then just basically choose it. I want to import it again and then click import and then it'll actually be in your reusable block section. So then you, if you wanted to do the same thing, you could go in to add a new block element and then just drop that reusable block in there, convert it to regular blocks, and then you can go ahead and edit it, uh, make it the way you want it to look. So I'll put the link to that reusable block below the video if you want to try it out. And that's it. I hope everyone's safe and have a great day.